you're in or you're out. How can I tell you if I'm in or I'm out without you telling me the first thing about what I might be in or out of? What attracted you to the film and playing these young men? Um, you know what? It was just a really good script, and Bart's a good director. If you've seen The Imposter, it was just, I mean, anyone would have wanted to do this movie. I feel like, you know, our age range, like, a lot of guys were after this one, so. I'd never read something that, like, you're, you're, you're reading it, and you're, like, strapped in disbelief. You're like, no way this happened. And then they have the real interviews, the real guys kind of keeping it grounded and reminding you that this actually happened, like, across the board, you know? So that, that really intrigued me. I'd never read anything like this. Yeah, dressing up as the old man was kind of what attracted me to it, you know? I was like, I want to do that. I want to be an old person for a day or two. I know Bart didn't want you guys to talk to to the real life characters you were playing. Obviously, they are all out of jail, out of prison, and you had access to them. I know he didn't really want you guys to talk to them, but you each had a unique relationship with them. Talk to me about the approach you took to communicating with them. I I broke the rules and found Warren through Twitter because I, I was pretty pissed off that we couldn't talk to our counterpart. That was part of one of the main draws of doing this film is that they, it was a true story and I could actually talk to him and get some insight and why he did it, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, <laughs> of course, Bart didn't want us to do that. Ultimately, he did it so that we wouldn't be colored because they were, you know, colored by their, they're 10 years older, you know, so he didn't want that to color our performance and make it so that we would have to try to live up to their expectations or not be as violent or as angry as, uh, you know, uh, they might have been in that situation. Yeah, they like, because the heist means something different to them now than it did before they did it, right? So we wanted to serve who they were before that. The only real contact I had with Chaz before was, uh, I think, you know, Bart supplied us all with uh, some interviews that are in the movie to kind of get our feet wet before kind of diving in and doing our own research like as a team and with Bart and breaking everything down in rehearsals and figuring out what we were going to bring to it on the day. But I feel like, yeah, like like Jared just said, you know, I'm 25 now, but I'm completely different than I was when I was 15. And if I had to explain something to you, I'd probably try to protect myself in a certain sense, even if it's just like unknowingly, you know, so it was good kind of giving us free reign to kind of get some skin in the game and play these characters how we saw fit. You know, it was pretty liberating. Obviously, the film is about a heist. Everybody's had experience of stealing something. What was something that you've stolen? I still steal to these days in shops. They don't catch me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, Kinder Egg, I like that. That in there. What was the last thing you stole? Kinder Egg. I'm not even missing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Kendrick, that's the that's the high. I once got in a cop car. What? Yeah, the cops came break up this fight, and they didn't shut the door to their car, so they come running into the house to break up this big brawl. And I walk out, and the the car door is open. I was like, son. Of a I was like, I get in there, jump behind the driver's wheel, lit up a cigar. I was having a time. Yeah, I had these cap black. My friends walk by. It was my brother's girlfriend, my friend's cousin. They come by. They're like, get out of there! And I'm, like, I'm trying to start this. They got like, man, my stories aren't that exciting. I was growing up, we were trying to like, you know, get away with some like paydays and like some candy and stuff, you know, boring, like boring stuff, but never got away with it because they had like these, these, uh, these little mirrors on the corner of the gas station. So we thought we were being like super stealth. I'm like, you're, you're and we don't realize that we're on this reflection doing it. And it was stupid.